Jacob Burton here from StellaCulinary.com, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate real quick how to debone and tie a short rib for braising. Now, with any short rib, I'm going to start by taking off any silver skin on the top portion because that silver skin is tough and chewy and it won't break down during the braising process. So even if I'm not going to tie the short rib and leave it on the bone, I'll still remove the silver skin. Now, the next step is to run your knife in between the bone and the meat of the short rib. And you always want to angle your knife blade towards the bone. So that way, if your knife slips, you're cutting the bone and you're not taking big chunks out of the meat. Now, the bone itself contains a lot of collagen and flavor. So save that and throw it in your braising liquid while you're cooking the short rib. Now I'm going to just wrap some string around my elbow and hand there, just to kind of measure it out. Cut the string in half, and that's going to give me some lengths of string or butcher's twine that I can use to then tie my short rib. Now when you roll the short rib up, you want to roll from the fat end, because that's going to make it easier to hold together and tie later on. So see I'm just rolling it tightly, squeezing it, rolling it all the way up to the thin end. Right, so the fat end is on the center, and the thin end is on the outside. And that thin end is, again, going to just attach to the short rib more easily and make it easier to tie. Now here, using the butcher's twine, I'm going to do a double loop, and that's going to help to cinch the knot down. So one, two loops, and tie. And that's going to cinch it, and I can go back and loop it one more time to finish my knot. And that's known as a butcher's knot. So anytime you're trying to tie a piece of meat together. Using that double loop is important. So one more time here, just take another piece of butcher's twine. And again, we're going to loop it once, loop it twice, and then finish the knot. And I like to add uh, three pieces of string to a short rib. Now this is a, what you call a two by three short rib. So it is two inches in width and three bones long. So when you ask your butcher for a short rib, if you want one this size, uh, you're going to ask them for a two by three. Now, again, what this is doing is it's tying our short rib together. So then when we braise it, it will come out looking like a nice round filet of beef. And it's easier to present. So you'll sometimes see this done in higher end restaurants. Now, at home, unless you want to be real fancy, I would actually just leave the short rib on the bone. But this is just another option for your arsenal of how to prepare and present your short rib. Now, for more information on how to take this rolled and tied short rib and braise it, just simply follow the short rib braising video that you can find in this episode's show notes at stellaculinary.com slash CKS46.